Today, I signed legislation and an executive order to hold China accountable for its oppressive actions against the people of Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Autonomy Act, which I signed this afternoon, passed unanimously through Congress. This law gives my administration powerful new tools to hold responsible the individuals and the entities involved in extinguishing Hong Kong's freedom. We've all watched what happened. Not a good situation. Their freedom's been taken away. Their rights have been taken away. And with it goes Hong Kong, in my opinion, because it will no longer be able to compete with free markets. Reasons the market's doing so. It's almost at the point that it was at prior to the plague. Almost. We're getting very close. It's a great thing. It's an amazing thing what our people have done and what they've endured. No administration has been tougher on China than this administration. We imposed historic tariffs. We stood up to China's intellectual property theft at a level that nobody's ever come close. We confronted untrustworthy Chinese technology and telecom providers. We convinced many countries, many countries, and I did this myself for the most part, not to use Huawei because we think it's an unsafe security risk. It's a big security risk. I talked many countries out of using it. If they want to do business with us, they can't use it. Just today, I believe that UK announced that uh, they're not going to be using it. And that was up in the air for a long time, but they've decided. And you look at Italy, you look at many other countries. We withdrew from the Chinese-dominated WHO, and we fully rebuilt the United States military, the WHO, World Health Organization. Uh, we were paying close to $500 million a year. China was paying $39 million a year. And uh, China had too much say. They worked it very hard, which is a uh, bad thing done by our past administrations. But we were tough, and we were saying — I was asking, I said, why are we paying so much more than China? China has 1.4 billion people. We have 325, probably 325 million, approximately. Nobody can give the exact count. We're trying to get an exact count. But you have, over the years, many illegals who have come into the country. So it depends on how you want to count it. But you could say 325 to 350 million people, as opposed to 1.4 billion people. And the world, tra world trade is terrible. That deal is terrible. The world health is terrible deal. We've been very tough on the World Trade Organization, and we've been, uh, I guess, as tough as you can get on world health. We withdrew our money. We told them we're getting out. Doesn't mean that someday we won't go back in. Maybe we will when it's correctly run. But they made a lot of bad predictions, and they said a lot of bad things about what to do and how to do it, and they turned out to be wrong. And they were really a puppet of China. And make no mistake, we hold China fully responsible for concealing the virus and unleashing it upon the world. They could have stopped it. They 